Hi everyone and welcome to another video of Terraform. My name is Tia from Dev Busy Learning and today we'll be going through Terraform comments, right? How we can kind of comment and uncomment a block of code in Terraform and also how we can take a note in Terraform, right? Let's say you are writing your code and you have a block of code or a line of code that you want to explain exactly what it means so that when somebody is kind of looking at your code, Code, he can really understand what that block of code or the line of code mean. How can you do that? You can kind of write a single line command or a multiple line command, right, to explain that. And how can you achieve that? Let us jump into this and see how we can achieve that. I am going to click uh, on this image here, it is going to take me in my GitHub repository, right? This is where I kind of put all the hands-on, the hands-on of Terraform. And I will also make sure that I put the link to this GitHub repository in the description of this uh, video, right? And here, I have just a main.tf here. And this is just a simple Terraform code that we'll be using to kind of showcase our skills here. Let me go ahead and copy this. I don't like to kind of work uh, with something here in GitHub. I will use my local terminal. Make sure that I kind of open this uh, piece of code in VS Code so that we can go ahead and learn how to comment and also on comment here. This is my terminal here. And if you tap PWD, PWD here, you can see that I've cloned the repository already. Um, I am in that repository. And if you tap LS, this is the code within the root of that repository. And let me see the to this specific path. And I would make sure that I see the into folder in, into a directory and not a file, right? And if you hit enter here and tab ls, I am exactly in that main.tf. If you go ahead here and tab code here dot to open my VS code, we'll be able to see exactly what is in there. And this is basically the block of code that we're kind of looking in the cup, right? Now, let us start with this one. This is what we call a single line comment here in Terraform. And how can you write a single line comment? With this single line comment, you start with a pound sign and you can write whatever you want. And this line here, if you trigger Terraform, Terraform will not go ahead and read this line, right? Because it is comment out. Let's say you want to comment this one also, you can click anywhere or anywhere here. And when your cursor is blinking, you kind of tap control and you tap forward slash. Control forward slash will go ahead and comment that particular line, right? Or if you don't know control forward slash, on Windows or command forward slash on Mac, you can always go at the beginning of this and you make sure that you put a pound sign. If you go at the beginning and you put a pound sign, it is going to comment out that specific line of code. And let's say you want to write a comment here to kind of explain something. You start with a pound sign and you can just say, this is a provider block. This is a provider block, for instance. This is a provider block. And if you trigger Terraform, Terraform will not go, Terraform will not, will not run this code, right? Because it is just a comment, just a single line comment, right? Now, let me go ahead and, com and uncomment this. I will still type a control forward slash because I am on window. If you are on mark, you type comment and forward slash. Let's say you want to comment out this block of code, right? You have two alternatives. You can basically select everything and you type control forward slash, which is what we call a multiple line comment, or you can go ahead and let me also type control forward slash to uncomment it. Or you can go ahead here and put a forward slash and you say star. You say star at the end, you say star forward slash again. Start forward slash. As you can see, this block of code was kind of co it was commented out. And if you have triggered Terraform, Terraform will not read any of this. Let us go ahead and test that and see if it is true or not. If you have saved this, for instance, <laughs> and open my terminal. I am exactly where that file is. Let me type Terraform in it to kind of initialize um, this particular folder and download the provider. Now we can download the provider. We can go ahead here and type Terraform plan to see if Terraform is going to deploy something. As you can see, 
Terraform is not going to deploy anything because there is no resource here. There's no resource. Everything was commented out. The only thing that we have here is just our Terraform block and also the provider block, right? Let me go ahead now and uncomment one block of code and we'll try that and see. I can take this one, just remove the star and remove this one. As you can see, we uncomment it. That means we have one resource now that Terraform can deploy, which means if you go ahead here and have the Terraform planner, you guys will see that Terraform is going to deploy one resource, and which is one AWS EC2 instance, right? Very simple. Let us recap. How do you command multiple line uh, multiple line of code in Terraform in VS Code. You select everything, you use control and forward slash. That is to uncomment it, control forward slash. It is to comment it. Let me say control forward slash again. If you don't want to do so, you can go ahead because this is really, really useful, guys. If you are in the real world, you are working, you have you want to comment out like a 100 line of code. Are you going to go in there and go ahead and tap, put a pound sign in front of this, put another pound sign, put another pound sign. Let's say you have like this 100 time. It is going to take you almost like five minutes to comment out all this and also to uncomment it. It will be another big issue, right? It will be another big issue. Let's see. See how long it took me to just to comment how everything because i'm trying to put pound sign f2 on every single line right you don't do so you just select everything and you say control and you say forward slash or command or command forward slash and it will just uncomment it and if you want to comment it you tap control and forward slash and that's it guys i'm i will not go ahead and kind of trigger terraform to to deploy this one because we don't really want to deploy it the purpose of the video was just to learn how we can manage command in terraform a single line command and also a multiple line command and how we can basically write some notes as you guys can see to kind of explain what we are doing right a note you can start a note here you can put a pound sign here and you start typing your note or you can go ahead here and start and just put the pound sign right here and you start typing your note and you explain exactly what you want to do and when you trigger terraform terraform will not read those lines right that's it for this video guys and i will see you guys in the next videos bye bye